you can quickly yeah, this is guys on joint studio today i'm going to show you guys how you can deliver your 3d artwork don't miss so guys i have already created um this spot for a canvas that goes like this hey hey Icky Bondi I am going to recreate it so you guys can see how I did it in the first place The thing that I had to do first was to set my composition settings and you can see that it's 1080 and 1920 square pixels with a flame length of 24 I'm going to remove all these layers and start with our thumbnail our cover this this was um, 3d model made by the guy called Elfi you can check him out on Instagram um the thing that i had to do was to give it life to add some motions the thing that i had to do was to come here on this thumbnail and maybe add some keyframes here on the position and the z rotation and i jumped on the second frame and added some other keyframes like this and let me tweak it let me play with it and see what I can come up with here on the rotation I can maybe add another stem okay and as you can see we have now some black angles you can remove it by adding some frames here on scale not the position I was, I was wrong I was mistaken now you can remove some different of position but add them here on scale ok you can add the other one but on the first keyframe on scale you can make it 130 you can select both keyframes and make it is ease so this way we have something like this okay now you can see how it is moving so the next effect we have to add we can find it here on effects panel effects and presets panel we can type some wiggle and select the wiggle position drop drag it and drop it here on our 3d model character now you can see that there is some options that is showing up here and you want to add it's up to me okay now i'm going to play with these numbers here i'm going to reduce the wiggle speed up to 0 0.5 and the wiggle amount up to 10 okay now you can see our, how our character is moving around a little bit and it is not distract, distracting and that's what i really want something smooth and not distracting okay i can see some movements around 
The next thing that I had to do was to add maybe this type called Karezi. Okay. Now you can see how it is moving. I'm going to remove this effect and uh, this way. This way our title has no effect. And the font that we used is called Cooper Black. You can find it online and use it as well. The effect that, that I want to use here on this text is, is called 3D. You can find it here on under the 3D text. You can select the second one and come here where the title is starting from and drag and drop it here. When you play around, you can see how it is emitting. And you can come here under the uh, metal range center. You can play around with, with key You can make it fast or longer. It depends on the audio or what you want to do. So in my case, I'm going to only make it smooth by its ease. The other thing we have to do on our cover was to add the parental adversary like this. You can see how it is popping up. On our parental adversary, what we did, we added another effect called dissolve props. I can remove it here on our parental adversary. Now you can see there is no effect. It is attached on our cover, but there is no effect that is showing up. What you have to do is to drag and also drop an effect like this. When we play back again, now you can see how it is showing up. Okay. Moving on, um, we added also the camera with the no. Uh, when you are adding the camera, you can present it on the now by dragging this tail and drop it to into now. Okay, this way, or you can select it manually like here. The keyframes that we added on the camera was to especially move from here on this pose up to we jumped like from the four frame to the we jumped like six frames and we got our details a little better okay and to hide this kind of push or zoom animation to make it look look at it a little professional we added some transition okay in my case i added this little band transition now we can't really see how we moved from this position up to this one and now we are seeing our details a little better the pistol and the blunt and the title and the other keyframes we added was to move from that very same place or scene up to showing his chain and ray bars his face and when you listen to the audio the artist was saying Ikiwandi, so I have to to kind of show or represent our character. Ikiwandi. After a little, a little while, our character made like the zoom out. And also, when 
the character reach this position I also uh, added back the title I dream yesterday. this way so in short this is how I created this 3D cover art see you guys later peace